bilayer tablet manufacturing in the pharmaceutical industry. Part 01 of 02. Greetings from Everyday GMP. I am your presenter from Everyday GMP. This is part one of two of this presentation. Everyday GMP is a training and solutions provider aimed to provide solutions to your problems and enrich the soft and technical skills of professional individuals and organizations to meet all criteria required in the life science industry, pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, cosmeceuticals, and related academia. Today we will discuss bilayer tablet manufacturing pharmaceutical industry before we start, please subscribe to get more informative videos. For part two, follow the link. So, let's start. So we will discuss it today. In part one introduction, bilayer tablets use advantages. Overview of the manufacturing process for bilayer tablets. The first layer of a bilayer tablet. The second layer of a bilayer tablet. Conclusion. And in part two of two, we will discuss introduction. Overview of the equipment used in the manufacturing process for the bilayer tablets. Quality control measures for bilayer tablet manufacturing. In the last. Conclusion. Introduction. Bilayer tablets, sometimes called double layer tablets, are a newer technology for the development of controlled release formulation. They have a combination of two or more active pharmaceutical ingredients in a single dosage form. Bilayer tablet manufacturing is a process used in pharmaceuticals to create tablets that contain two separate layers of medication in a single tablet. Bilayer tablets are prepared with one layer of the drug for immediate release with the second layer designed to release the drug later, either as a second dose or in an extended release form. More overview nowadays, the use of bilayered tablets is growing. Bilayer tablets are more suitable for the gradual release of a combination of two active ingredients. Bilayer tablet technology separates two incompatible substances in which one layer is immediate release as a loading dose, and the second layer is controlled, sustained release as a maintenance dose. Two incompatible drugs can also be formulated into a bilayer tablet by adding an inert intermediate layer. Bilayer tablets can also make it easier for patients because they can reduce the number of daily doses required, therefore simplifying regimens. Bilayer tablets use advantages. Overall, Bilayer tablets are a versatile oral solid dosage form that offers numerous advantages for combination therapy, improved patient compliance, drug stability, targeted drug delivery, and reduced side effects. Combination therapy. Bilayer tablets are commonly used for combination therapy, where two active ingredients with different release profiles are required for optimal therapeutic EF effects, for example, one layer may provide immediate release of a drug while the other layer provides extended release improved patient compliance. By combining two drugs in a single tablet, bilayer tablets can improve patient compliance by reducing the number of pills that need to be taken. Continuing its uses and advantages. Improved drug stability. The use of two separate layers can provide improved drug stability, as different active ingredients may have different requirements for stability and release. Targeted drug delivery. Bilayer tablets can be designed to target specific parts of the gastrointestinal tract, such as the stomach or the intestine, by controlling the release profile of each layer. Reduced side effects. By controlling the release profile of each layer, bilayer tablets can reduce side effects associated with drugs that are rapidly absorbed, such as those that cause gastrointestinal irritation. Very important that what is the first layer of the tablet? The first layer of a bilayer tablet. Overall, the first layer of a bilayer tablet is designed to provide a rapid release of the active ingredients into the body, allowing for a fast onset of action. The composition and formulation of the immediate release layer can be tailored to the specific drug and its intended use to optimize the drug delivery profile. The first layer of a bilayer tablet is typically called the immediate release layer. This layer is designed to dissolve quickly and release the active ingredients rapidly into the body. The immediate release layer is often formulated with disintegrants and other excipients that promote fast dissolution. The first layer of a bilayer tablet. The disintegrants in the immediate release layer help to break up the tablet into small particles that can dissolve more quickly in the stomach or intestines. Common disintegrants used in immediate release formulations include cross carmelose sodium, sodium starch glycolate, and microcrystalline cellulose. The active ingredients in the immediate release layer can vary depending on the drug and the intended use of the tablet. For example, a bilayer tablet containing a pain reliever and a sleep aid might have an immediate release layer containing the pain reliever to provide rapid relief, 
while the second layer containing the sleep aid could have a slower release profile to help the patient stay asleep for a longer period. The second layer of a bilayer tablet. The second layer of a bilayer tablet is an important component of the tablet's overall functionality. It may serve as a protective barrier, a controlled release layer, or a disintegrating layer, depending on the formulation and intended use of the tablet. The second layer of a bilayer tablet is typically called the sustained release layer, also known as the extended release or controlled release layer. Unlike the first layer, the second layer is designed to release the active ingredient slowly and steadily over a longer period of time. The sustained release layer is often formulated with special excipients and technologies that control the release of the active ingredients. These excipients can include polymers, waxes, and other materials that slow down the dissolution and absorption of the active ingredients. As bilayer tablet is a type of tablet that consists of two layers of different active ingredients or formulations separated by a barrier. The second layer of a bilayer tablet is the layer that is typically located at the bottom of the tablet, and is often referred to as the backing layer or the substrate layer. The second layer of a bilayer tablet plays an important role in the overall functionality of the tablet. Depending on the formulation, the second layer may serve as a protective barrier, a controlled release layer, or a disintegrating layer. In the last, we conclude that the manufacturing process for bilayer tablets involves careful raw material selection, formulation development to achieve the required release profile and specialized tablet compression equipment to compress both layers into a single bilayer tablet. The process requires careful attention to quality control and assurance to ensure the final product meets the required specifications. Part 1 of 2 completed and for part 2 follow the link. For part 2 watch another video. The full training course is available on demand for on-site, online and hybrid forms. We offer a variety of training packages in a range of subject areas and can offer blended learning opportunities to best meet your needs. If you would like a consultation to see how we can assist you with issues in your organization, please contact us. Our expertise and specializations are as follows, individual and corporate technical and soft skills training. Organizations technical gap analysis and process optimization. Industry and academia gap analysis. Provide solutions for troubleshooting, sterile and non-sterile manufacturing. Technical documentation services. SOP, QRM, CAPA, change management, etc. Pharmaceutical manufacturing and water purification solution. Facility technical areas layout. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Contact plus 9231125384455 email info at everydaygmp.com website www.everydaygmp.com